violent heroes. Not in plants, but in togas. And I distanced them so far back in time that they became an island heritage for all northern Europe to pit against the Mediterranean south. My Hebrides would be the new Aegean. My island heroes, a nobler pantheon of gods to Greece. Ossium would be my Homer. When the works of Ossian were published in edition after edition, no one would believe it was me. Not that I wanted them to. Well, maybe sometimes. It was all the reward of a few holiday months spent in the Western Islands. down the odd scenic feature, copied out a few fireside songs, the name of a highland dog for an exotic Celtic chief or two. The results outstripped even my wildest dream. of Jacobite defeat, my Ossium ushered in an era of enlightenment in Edinburgh. My fragments of ancient poetry became a number one bestseller. Publishers fought for foreign translation rights. Uh, Mr. McPherson, might a sequel not be found to cap success? You mean Ossian too? We wonder if with Pony, pen, and paper, you might not discover more tales of these brave Fingalians. <laughs> what is it you propose? Here we have resolved to put the Reverend James McPherson on the way to procuring us more of these wild Highland flowers. <laughs> hmm. Slantifa. Sorry? Cheers. and jaunt, I set to make my new tales old. With 
copious snuff, I fudged back the centuries by the hour. As I prophesied, within four months, my sequel was delivered to the printers, and my new, old epics of Fingalian seas swept across the world. But if the fame of James Macpherson, or rather the fame of Ossian, had won the hearts of America and the continent, only grudges smouldered in the coffee houses and bookshops of London. Dr. Johnson behaved quite beastly. He demanded to see my original texts. An embarrassing request, this. <clears throat> you see, I wrote my original Ossian in English, and only then translated it into Gallic. A London publisher wanted to print my originals as translations, and my translations as originals. But I had an ally in Jamie Boswell. <clears throat> We'd known each other from the watering places of the North and kept our friendship hot by chasing London muses of the night. And by day, an altogether proper Jamie. <clears throat> Dr. Johnson, sir. James Boswell, sir. From Scotland? Uh, I'm afraid so. Yes, that's what a great many of your countrymen are afraid of. Scotland is the most dull and dreary place. But we do have a great many noble and wild prospects. Yes, 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 I believe you do have a great many noble and wild prospects. But let me tell you, sir, the noblest prospect that the Scotchman ever sees is the high road which leads him south to England. <laughs> Yes, but the eyes of Europe are on Scotland now, sir. The whole world is spinning over Macpherson's fragments of ancient poetry. When I look upon Macpherson's Ossian as the greatest and grossest imposition that ever the world was troubled with. Uh, but in Scotland, sir, though, the works of Ossian have completely now, overwhelmed the Scotch have the entire... something to plead for their ready acceptance of an improbable fiction. They are seduced by their fondness for their supposed ancestors. But many London critics have embraced yes, well, the the English ought not to accept Scotch authority. For the past and present stage of the ancient Gallic nation, the Lowlanders are at least as ignorant as ourselves. But in the Hebrides today, sir, may be found phrases as melodious as those in Ossian. Ah, yes, right, sir. One might write such stuff forever, if one should abandon one's mind to it. If we know little of the ancient Highlanders, let us not fill the vacuity with Ossian. Uh, but there are six books comprising the works of Ossian. Oh, yes. And ascribed to a time when the Highlanders knew nothing of books probably couldn't even count to six. Uh, but, sir, uh, Dr. Johnson... Uh, Only the doctor's advanced age and infirmities protected him from the treatment due to such an infamous liar. Still, he hadn't a drop of Gallic. How could he prove my works were fraudulent? I'd had my fill of London life. I didn't like John Bull, although I loved his daughters. I sold my pile in Putney. I returned to the highlands where I was born. There I had Adam, Rab the Roman, build me one of his most up-to-date, new, old, fashionably ancient villas in the modern, old, classic style. I called it in the Gallic, or Gaelic, Balleville, or Belleville, in homage, in homage, French for their loyalty and their enduring love of Ossianism. Ossian, Ossia, c'est moi, c'est me, the mortal thread that wove the cloak of Ossian's fame, the garb of ancient Gaul and Caledonia old, a classic style to found a nation. But reversible and high romantic. A kilt was once a tartan. Toga. Oh, Asya, my honored bard. Yet I, still barred from honor, die. Hoisted by my own pet bard. <laughs> <laughs> 